What is up guys, so with the Elseworlds Arrowverse crossover event just around the corner, I wanted to go over some things that I wanted to see happen in the crossover. And this isn't going to really pertain to any individual show, but the Arrowverse in general, what Elseworlds impact will be and what it should accomplish for the Arrowverse moving forward, as well as just things that I wanted to see, to see happen in the actual crossover. So with that in mind, let's go over the top 5 things that I want to see in Elseworlds. So, one thing this crossover is already doing that I wanted to see was introducing Superman to the rest of the Arrowverse and giving him a major role. And now that Superman is finally meeting characters like the Green Arrow, and more importantly for this video, the Flash, I think it would be incredibly awesome if we could see the iconic race between those two characters. Number 5 is a race between Superman and the Flash. Superman and the Flash racing is such an iconic moment in DC history, and to see it in Elseworlds would be incredibly awesome. Sure, the race has been kind of done before between Flash and Supergirl, but honestly, who actually cares about that? That was not interesting. The one I want to see, the race I want to see, is between Superman and the Flash. Obviously, Flash should win that race, but I would like to see it nonetheless. Also, if it doesn't happen, at least have a race between Flash and the black suit is Superman who will be appearing in Elseworlds. Another thing that this crossover is doing that I really wanted to see was confirming Batman's existence in the Arrowverse. Also, it will take place in Gotham City for at least one of the three episodes. Based off trailers, we know that Oliver Queen considers Batman to be this urban legend, even though he's never named him before. Barry Allen also knows about him, and through interviews, we know that Batman has been missing for three years. Now, what I want to see in Elseworlds is an elaboration of what we already know, and that is number four, an elaboration about Batman. For instance, how long has Batman been around? Which of his villains has he already fought? Are there any Robins in this universe? Where is Alfred? Where is Commissioner Gordon? Has he actually teamed up with Superman before? Like references from Supergirl ha does suggest. Basically, I want Elseworlds to tell us at least a little about Batman's surrounding world in this continuity and everything about Gotham City. Obviously, these things will be touched on and definitely elaborated on in Batwoman in the TV show, but I don't really want to wait that long. I want to know everything about Batman from this crossover because just the fact that Batman is even a thing now in the Arrowverse is so exciting. And yes, I would love to hear these things in Batwoman as well, but this crossover has the opportunity to tell these things as well, and that would be awesome. Every time a crossover rolls around since a guest invasion, there has been a team that is effectively the Arrow vs. Justice League, but they never were actually called the Justice League. In fact, they were never actually called anything, so what am I supposed to call them? Just the Arrow vs. Superhero Team? That's a terrible name. Well, after what is effectively three missions as this team with Invasion, Crisis on Earth X, and now Elseworlds, I think that the team needs to be officially named, and there is no name as appropriate as the Justice League. Number three is Unite the Justice League. With big name and even movie level Justice League members like Superman and The Flash, as well as other characters like Green Arrow, Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, etc. being a part of this team, and with the movies not doing anything with the Justice League whatsoever after the flop of the movie, I see no reason why they can't officially name the Arrow for Justice League the Justice League because I am frustrated with every time a crossover rolls around, especially when I have to review it and I have to talk about the team. And I just call them the Justice League in those reviews, so I see no reason why they just can't name them that same name. As for the Elseworlds crossover, the Justice League would be uh, The Flash, Green Arrow, Superman, Supergirl, and Batwoman, which I do think, as for this continuity, is a pretty good Justice League to start off. This crossover is officially a backdoor pilot setting up a Batwoman TV show, and I think it should do the same thing for another character. Out of all the characters in the Arrowverse, there is no character I would prefer for a spinoff show over Superman. I know a lot of people want a Deathstroke spinoff show, and yeah, that would definitely be my second choice, but Superman is definitely first, and I think Elseworlds could do the same thing they're doing for Batwoman for Superman. In fact, it's kind of already doing it. So number two, set up a Superman TV show. Before Elseworlds, Superman has only really appeared in four 
episodes of Supergirl. Well, there's one extra episode if you count the episode where he appeared on a screen in the background and it was blurry. I do not count that. All four episodes are from season two. One of them is also just one scene. So it is essentially three episodes and one scene. Now with the crossover event of Elseworlds, he will be appearing in three more episodes, essentially doubling his Arrowverse screen time, which is definitely developing him for something, and I think that could be a spin-off show. On top of that, the Kent Farmhouse is being established as a location in this crossover, and that could definitely be used as a location in a Superman TV show, and on top of that as well, Superman's main love interest, Lois Lane, has been cast as an actress named Elizabeth Tulak and is appearing in Elseworlds. And although not in Elseworlds, Superman's main villain, Lex Luthor, is cast as well by an actor named John Cryer, but he is also appearing in Supergirl Season 4. On top of that, again, the movies are not using him because Henry Cavill left the role, so the CW is free to do whatever they want with the character. All of this means that Superman will be way more developed as the character after Elseworlds. They will have certain locations they could use for the show. They have the three main leads of the show in Superman being played by Tyler Hecklin, Lois Lane being played by Elizabeth Tulock, and Lex Luthor being played by John Cryer, as well as the CW having the freedom to do whatever they want with the character and the freedom to make this show and I definitely think that they should and I really hope they do. Also, if they do, I would be incredibly excited. So this crossover has some notable similarities to the big DC Comics event, Crisis on Infinite Earth, such as the inclusion of the characters of the Monitor and Psycho Pirate, as well as the focus on multiple universes, which we can tell from the title Elseworlds. And one thing that happened at the end of Crisis was the destruction of the multiverse, leaving only one universe. And I think they should do something similar, although not the exact same thing, in Elseworlds. Number one is Combine Earth 1 and Earth 38. So the reason I say don't destroy the whole multiverse, even though I wouldn't be against it, I don't think the multiverse after this crossover and after the Earth X crossover, I don't think it serves any utility whatsoever now because they can't really do much with it and I don't think they should but the reason I say don't destroy it yet at least is because it just wouldn't fit the timeline because of the 2049 newspaper scene in the Flash season 5 episode 1 there's a part of it that shows Psycho Pirate and he says that during the 2024 crisis which has been teased since the first episode of the Flash season 1 worlds died he said that he has this temporal and multiversal awareness so if something happened in the multiverse he definitely knows, so if Worlds died in 2024, then they can't really destroy the multiverse in 2018, so I don't think they should destroy the multiverse, they could just be waiting to do that in 2024, but I do think the combination of the two main Earths, or 1 and Earth 38, would 100% be beneficial for the Arrowverse. Because I really think it's stupid that the main versions in the Arrowverse of Supergirl, Superman, Martian Manhunter, the Legion of Superheroes, and all the other villains and heroes that have appeared in Supergirl are on a different universe to the main versions of all of the heroes from Earth. One, it's stupid and I think that I've really wanted them to remedy that and fix that for a long time now, basically ever since the first crossover between The Flash and Supergirl, and I think Elseworlds is easily the best time and place to do it. So those are the top five things that I want to see in Elseworlds. If you have your own list or if you agree with any of my picks, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more Elseworlds video, link will be in the top right corner to a playlist. And for the reviews of Elseworlds that will be going up after the Elseworlds crossover goes up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs>